Drew's coming into this blind. He had no idea the SEC was investigating him. Drew is going to keep a cool head. He's not going to give the SEC a reason to use anything against him. Dante, would you mind going to the PCPD and see what's going on with him? Please? Yeah, I was planning to do that anyway. Thank you. Okay, see you. You know, it's ironic. Drew asked me over and over again not to buy any Arroyo stock. I didn't listen. With the best of intentions, turned out so badly. All I wanted to do was support Michael and Drew, and suddenly Ned turned it into insider trading. It's crazy. I know, I think it's incredibly harsh, considering everything that's going on with Willow, but I guess when it comes to Ned, nothing else matters but ELQ. SEC still in there, huh? They are. Shouldn't be in there long. The guy they're questioning is represented by Diane Miller. Yeah, Diane will have him out of there in 10, 15 minutes. I don't think they're going to get anything out of him. Hey. Uh, so Diane's representing Drew. Agents left a little while ago. From the looks on their faces, they got nothing. A short term, that could be great, but... Long term, Drew could be in a lot of trouble. Well, your timing was impeccable. Thank you. You can thank your ex-wife. It was Sam who called and alerted me. I will do that. Carly is convinced that Ned is the one that turned her and Drew in. <sighs> Ned reports Drew to the SEC with Carly as collateral damage. That sounds extreme. But who even knew that Carly and Drew were together? And of all the people who knew... Who stands to gain the most from exposing them? <laughs>